Hello and welcome to the presentation of the procedural art of Dragon Maze. I am Lun and I am the developer of Dragon Maze. And in this video, I want to share you my experience using Houdini and Houdini Engine for Unity. So I hope you enjoy it. What is Dragon Maze? Dragon Maze is an action 3D platformer where you play as Suki. Suki is a small dragon who is on his way to save his sister Nina from the evil cloud gang, a band of evil wolves. Dragon Maze, of course, was inspired by the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation 1 games, where you had beautiful art, you had huge characters, but the game itself was not easy. Also, you have new mechanics and new and fresh mechanics uh, throughout the game, making it very fun to play. Dragon Maze right now is in development for PC, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. And of course, I want to expand to other platforms as well. And for Steam, we we got green like on March. So if you voted for the game, thank you so much. Your vote was of a lot of value for, for us. So right now I want to share you my experience before using Houdini and after using Houdini. I began using Houdini for this game on Houdini 13 and I want to show you my experience with this. So why did I, did I begin to why did I decide to, to use Houdini? So if you are a 3D artist, maybe you know that Houdini is very powerful for VFX and it is heavily used on movies, but there is little information for games. So also the the price for Houdini I think it, it is affordable so for one year I think it is two hundred dollars for one year of the indie license and it contains all that you need to, to work on your game and I I think that this is the main point at least for me I had a very slow art pipeline for this project that is kind of ambitious so I decided to give Houdini a try. So maybe you are familiar with this scenario where you have to, to place the, the assets one by one to create your level. Or what about this, when you need a model only for one specific place, you have to make all the model, even if it is going to be used only one time. Or maybe you have to make different variations of a model you have. Maybe with the time I did become quick using a 3ds max or and doing this this kind of of models but i think i am never going to be faster than this so taking the same example of the trunk if i want to make one in 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 unity i only drag a line which comes from houdini engine and i can quickly create a trunk with all the, spec, the with all the specs i need so I think that this is a lot faster than, than the old way of doing the assets one by one. Or what about this? When you have to place all the objects one by one, by one. so I created a, a Houdini asset to, for this fence, where you can see how the objects are spawned and scaled to fit in the curve. And this, this is running in, in Unity, so you can create levels a lot quicker. So something that is also awesome for Houdini Engine is it is that if you already have an, an art pipeline, you can adapt Houdini Engine for it. So in this is a quick uh, preview of my workflow where I want to create a bridge for for the Dragon Maze. So I make the the models in, into ZBrush and this is in order to get the normal maps and, and all the textures I need. Then I send them the low poly versions into 3ds Max. And then I assemble a, a let's say, a mine piece. Then I, I send that piece to Houdini. And then I only create an algorithm, which is the Houdini digi Digital Assets. And I create it to, to make a 
a bridge that, that can be distributed in, in Houdin in, in Unity quickly. So instead of making a bridge model, I mean a complete bridge of a model, I only made a piece in, in my favorite 3D application, and then I sent I sent that piece to, to Houdini. And now you can see that I have a, a digital asset of a bridge into Unity, which is creating all the models and the collisions and it is only adapting to a curve I am doing into, into Unity. So, how is it working with Houdini Engine into Unity? Well, it, it is actually very fun. It is like if you had your own level editor. So, which is the main difference before using Houdini and after using Houdini? So basically, it's, this, it's the same points. I had to make the assets one by one but now I, then I, I only make a Houdini digital assets. Also, I don't have to place the objects one by one anymore because I, I also have a Houdini digital asset that makes this for me. And I only decide where I want the assets to be placed. And the, I think the most important point is that now I can spend time doing quality assets and I don't have to spend time anymore doing variations of some models that I already have because I think that that can lead to low quality for for the game itself so then you can spend some time doing a, a high, high quality Houdini digital asset and then worry only about the quality of the game and not about making variations of something that you already did before so this is how how I make the levels using Houdini Engine on Unity. So you can see how I, only, I am only dragging and modifying curves. And this island is already being built after that curve. And you can see also that it, that island already has collisions. It has automatic UV mapping. So, uh, and it is the same for this bridge, so you can see how I am only tweaking some values to decide how how big is the is the bridge and how many pieces it is going to use. And I think it it is like having your own level editor, but but <laughs> a lot more fun, of course. So then you only have to worry about making the levels and and that's it. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this brief presentation about how I am using Houdini and Houdini Engine for this game. If you have Houdini questions or you only want to stay updated about Dragon Maze, so feel free to follow me on Twitter at Feline Arts. We also have a Facebook page which is Feline Arts Dev, or we have the website where we have a mailing list on FelineArts.net. So thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.